Shazal Manfred is a 6 foot 3, 220 pound QB that plays for the Prague Lions. At his pro day in 2017, he had a 4.68 40, 14 reps in the bench press, 32.5 inches on the vertical, 9 foot 5 broad jump, and a 4.29 shuttle. His athletic ability is obvious, and as a former wide receiver, the fluidity of movement translates extremely well to his running ability. He is somewhat of an improviser, being able to extend plays even when they are dead or run out of the pocket to find an easier pass. He shows a wider range of jump cuts, spin moves, physicality in the middle, and just the ability to fight for the yards. His ball carrier vision is also very good because of his time in other offensive positions, seeing the gaps on the outside or inside and be able to hit them with explosiveness. In the passing game, he shows the arm to complete the intermediate routes and has high success in terms of finding the deep posts. His arm power is certainly underrated, as he can definitely stretch the field with the ability to throw deep. On the intermediate routes, he also does a good job in leading the receivers towards the ball and predicting where they're going to be, not where they were. With more than 20 rushing touchdowns over the past two years, it's very clear he has an efficiency in the red zone when it comes to his legs. Speaking of efficiency, he's also limited his interceptions, decreasing every year that he has been professional. The routes I particularly like in his offensive arsenal are his outside fade, inside post, goal line fade, and slants. He shows nice touch on the outside fades, on either the strong side or the weak side, being able to open his body or throw the ball across his body to pretty good accuracy over the top. He's able to run a play-action offense very, very well because of the threat of his legs, and with a combination of good arm power, he's able to stretch the defenses and keep them guessing. His mobility also allows him to open up the scheme. He runs a good RPO, he's able to run triple options and read options, and because of this, the defenses are never quite aware of what he's going to do. He lacks effort on some of his handoffs, but I think this is due to him knowing he's not getting the ball. I think if he gave more effort into this part of the game during a game that he was winning, he would be a lot more effective with selling it. With pressure, he does a good job in keeping his eyes downfield to try and find a player open. He's also able to go outside the tackles to try and extend the play further in order to give his receivers a little bit more time to find open space. He spreads the ball out well between his offensive weapons. None of his receivers had over 500 yards, but all of them had over 300. This shows that he doesn't have a preference and is not as easy to read on the defensive side when it comes to his progressions. In clutch options such as 3rd and 10, he can be accused of playing hero ball. I don't think this is a massive problem as he does have more weapons this year to work with and should overall feel more confident in a Lions offense. He processes the short and medium routes well. Anything under 10 yards he can process fairly quickly and it's very obvious that he goes through his progressions to see if players are open. He's definitely a winning QB as Prague has been very successful in the Czech League and also in the Central League of Europe. As he has been a starter for a long time, I believe that he is the right player to lead them into their first year in ELF and I think that he will find success overall as a player. No player is without his imperfections, however. Shaz does hold the ball very low and tends to take contact unnecessarily when he could either slide or go out of bounds. This could lead to injuries and damage on his body during the season. This low and loose style of holding the ball can also lead to fumbles, which are obviously detrimental to an offensive system. He can be seen even on his highlight plays of holding the ball directly out with one hand and palming the ball. This looks good on film in terms of production on a highlight reel but in terms of functionability this is dangerous. Defenders are absolutely going to try and hit him in the midsection because of his arms coming out so wide and then a second defender is absolutely going to go for the ball to try and force that fumble out. When dropping back in gun or shotgun or under center he does tend to feel any kind of pressure and will immediately scramble out to the outside even if it's not the most effective option. This could be due to his offensive line being of a lower quality but even still, it's something to be concerned about. His accuracy in 2022 was 52%, and in 2021 it was 53.8. This is a 1.8% decrease, and not what you want as a progression on a QB. I believe it to be his mechanics and footwork under pressure, and when he is under no pressure, he tends to stand still and become a little bit stationary in his movement, therefore limiting his hip fluidity. He can also at times lock onto a target and fail to read the safety over the top that is disrupting the post routes. This has led to two players breaking up the post when they could have easily been interceptions. Mobility, not forcing the pass and limit interceptions, a nice touch and a fader of strength. Feet dropping off the centre, holding the ball low and completion percentage are weaknesses. 